Hello everyone, welcome to Foreign Farming in the Philippines. Well, it has finally, finally stopped raining. I don't know how, how long this no raining thing is going to last, but at least it finally has. So, both varieties of onions we planted, neither one of them came up. Uh, bad seeds, I guess. Don't know. But this uh, different variety of tomatoes we planted did come up and so I need to get some water on those and those peppers came up and they did not These are all the new starts that we're going to put down in those raised beds if we can ever get them prepared and feel for. It's rained so much it's knocked down these tomatoes here, but these definitely need to get set out. They're getting pot bound. We've got a bunch of peppers here. Nobody worked yesterday and it was raining this morning so no one has worked today. Bear Bear! Stop it Great Up. They're, they're picking on BB. And we've had so much rain some of this corn is well if we didn't have it stringed up it would have all collapsed. I can tell by this silk here, we're probably two weeks away from a harvest here. Yeah, I don't know, some of these ears, maybe less than that. Let's take a peek at this one here. Yeah, I don't need to, I don't need to look at it, but. I can tell we're about 10 days away, yeah, maybe even just a week. Hopefully this corn will stay stood up that long, at least we didn't have wind with the rain. The cucumbers are hanging in there, I need to get out here with the scissors again. It's rained almost constantly for the last four days. These squash are doing good. I know there's some big squash out here. I wanted to find one and show you guys. I've seen several. I just can't remember where they are. Might do, need to do a little bit of uh, leaf trimming on these as well. Our Delandan oranges, they're coming along. No one has picked them yet. Amazing but true. Get that one. Nice little orange there. There's quite a little maze in here amongst these squash vines. They are prolific. 
There's a little tiny one right there. You guys can see that. There's one there. It's about softball size. There's several like that in here, but the the vines grow when they move. Stepped in a bunch of red ants. Again, the you know, we just have a hard time with watermelons. Those are the pathetic little plants. We planted all it's rained so much, all the basins, all the basins are washed out. I wanted to check this corn up here too. See how it's coming along. Yeah, this corn is about A week behind the other, I'm guessing. Boy, this is almost good enough to get a lawn chair underneath here. This is the Oppo stand. I haven't even ventured out of the house in two days because it's just been constant rain. Let me see what we got going on here. I haven't even checked the pond. Haven't checked the pond, any of the fields. I got a little bit of mowing down in here too. Yeah, you know, this has it been going out the spillway? I would imagine that it is. This little depression here, we're about six inches from going over right there. Yeah. It, uh, well, it's draining right there. And it's just right at the spillway here. This needs to be cleaned out some. So I'll come back and I'll come back and clear this out. It's not much of a spillway the way that it is. Ah, those fields. There's actually been quite a bit of water coming out of this pipe. I can tell by the by the flow pattern there in the grass. So it was definitely coming out that spillway. No flow pattern here, so it didn't overtop the bank. That's a good thing.
I haven't made the video yet, but we've got some uh, really big news coming up. It'll probably be the video following this one. So stay tuned. Yeah, I thought I wasn't able to get much done in this field. We need to get a little bit more gas and finish that up. What a sopping wet mess. Yeah, I let these rice hulls go too long. It just made ashes, basically, instead of biochar. I uh, spread it out. I'd spread this out and and uh, sprayed it down with water, turned it again, sprayed it down more. I thought I had it out, but I did not. And it was raining that day. I'm sure our well is acting like an artesian well again. Yep. The water's flowing out and going down that furrow. I'll muddy that up a little bit so you can see the flow. Top and wet. I have been wanting to fertilize the squash here, but in constant rain, it doesn't really do any good to fertilize anything. Ah, yeah. field needs to be worked. There's so much to do here that you just really can't do when it's when it just will not stop raining. onions are hanging in there. They don't like it when it's this wet. Somehow the girls have put the put the grass that they trimmed at the end of this ditch so it can't drain. This corn is all pushed down from all the rain. This corn is all laid down. <sighs> we have to go through and this is not even high enough to stake up. We're going to have to go through and pull soil up around all of them. We never were able to finish the prep on this field.
or this one. Just can't get anything done. I hear the waterfall from the neighbors over here. Whenever there's really heavy rain, it cascades down through those rice fields over there. Looks like I've got a little dam down there that needs to be unplugged. All this field here needs to be done. I don't know what the deal is here. That's more better. It's okra. It's not liking life that much either. Nothing likes it that when it's this wet. Just an everyday rain. Maybe the peanuts do. They seem to be doing really good. Ah, you know, that's the update. You guys stay tuned. Next video is going to be a blockbuster. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.